What's up guys? It's Oscar. Long time no see. Long time no see. I'm back. Um, I want to get back, uh, back back on this video train. Um, you know, get it going again. The thing is, I'm starting um, my night shift at work again tonight. And um, as I've said before in previous videos, um, when when there's been kind of a lull, um, when I'm on day shift, it's kind of it's hard to do videos because um, I get up at four and then I shave, I shower and shave right away. And then, um, you know, I'm not about to do a video at four o'clock in the morning um, or even at night. You know, I come home from work and just try and spend time with Michael and Maria and then um, hit the sack fairly early to get up again and do it all over. But um, night shift starts tonight. So, again, um, you know, do videos, uh, you know, do a shave after I get up and maybe do a video, edit it, put it together, get it posted. Sometimes I don't even get it posted till the, the tonight sometime. So, um but there's been, you know, over the last few months, just a lot going on. A lot of things that I wanted to kind of touch on. Been a lot of new, newer stuff in the den. Brushes, uh, software, um, hardware here and there. Um, stuff that I kind of want to touch on. You know, discussions that I had that I've either gotten into um, on the in the Facebook groups or or just that I've avoided. Um, you know, just you know, just so much going on and. You know, you know, try to keep it, try to keep it real as far as shave stuff goes and not, <clears throat> not get involved in the other stuff. But, um, you know, a lot of stuff going on with the hurricanes and stuff. And this, for example, this dust up with, you know, people producing products, you know, that other people think they're capitalizing on the disaster and stuff like that. And that was, that was something that I, it was hard for me to avoid because it's like, you know, it's typical let's bash this artist and let's bash this guy without knowing his true motives or without even knowing him and just kind of jumping on the, you know, you know, the hate, the hate, uh, bandwagon and, and just not even knowing. So, um, you know what I'm talking about with the Irma stuff, but, um, but I just, you know, wanted to, you know, show my support and, um, you know, my first shave back, my first shave video, I was, I'm not the huge Bayram guy. I know that's what people keep saying, but this last release, this last release from Douglas and Crown King and PAA, it's one of the first things I used when I first got into into the into the thing was into the hobby. I'm gonna get started here. When when I got into the hobby was um, Barrister and Man's Bay Rum, which which you know I always knew Bay Rum was kind of a, a kind of a classic barbershoppy manly kind of a scent, and I liked it. It just kind of it grew on me, but then it grew too much on me. So then once I was done with that sample from Barrister and Man, I um I decided to kind of, you know, delve away from it. And I really haven't touched any Bay Rum since. Oh, real quick, this is that brush I posted about the other day from Wild West Brushworks from Daniel Morales. He tried to raffle it off. He wasn't able to fill the spots. So um I just went ahead and got in touch with him and said, Hey, you know, um I'll go ahead and give you what the total amount for the raffle spots we're going to be. And um, this is what came. I think this is either tuxedo or black. I think it's tuxedo. Um, but it's it's black ebony here. And then kind of a marbly kind of a thing going on here. If you let the light through. You can kind of see me through there. It's pretty cool. It's a really nice brush. It looks really a lot better in person. So, But anyway. Um, and... Uh, you know, getting back to the Bay Rum thing, you know, a lot of people aren't, you know, in the Bay Rum. Um, some people are all about it. So I actually, um, what I was doing was I was watching, you know, Doug, when Douglas puts stuff out, there's, there's a history, there's a story behind it, there's research, there's, you know, and if you've seen some of his videos that he posts when he's producing his products, especially the aftershaves, you know, he's, you know, he had pictures, I think he was doing a song or the Drago, um, and he, he just kind of videotaped. Um, all the time and process that it entails. Oh, it smells really good. And um, and then you know you read the stories and write ups on his on his website about what goes into it and everything. And and that's kind of what convinced me is the effort and the research and then and then um, um everything that goes into it. And um, so I decided to jump on this because he felt so strongly. He was so proud of this upcoming release that I went ahead and jumped on it. I kind of went full bore too. I got the deodorant, the shampoo bar, the uh, soap, and the aftershave, and um, and uh, I just didn't get the. Was there a pomade? I don't remember, but I got mostly most most of the line, so and I'm pretty happy about it. 
And I'm really excited about that Planet Nine coming out because I love your Neroli, Douglas, and and sounds like it's going to be even better. So, um, so yeah, you know, getting into the aftershaves and everything, and um, can't wet my face. You know, the aftershave, everything that goes into the aftershaves, and and you know, that's another thing, man. Bailey, you know, I don't know exactly everything that happened. I know I saw a little bit of what he said about you know, fine aftershaves going up in price and and then the difference between this and that and everything. It's like, you know, certain things, especially the Phoenix stuff, it costs more because it's just it's just better. And and it, it costs more because of the time and the ingredients and and just the quality of it. And then, you know, you look at stuff like fine and stuff from Razor Rock or some other ones and you know if you like that stuff, great. But one thing I've started to learn over doing this over time is if there's ingredients that I can't pronounce versus something that has like natural, more natural and better for you ingredients, then I'm going to pay a little bit more for the better stuff. You know what I mean? Razor Rock makes some good sense. Fine makes some good sense. But if I'm going to choose, you know, if I have to make a choice and I, and I can pay the extra couple bucks for the better skin food and all that kind of stuff, then you know what? I'm going to do it. And the fact that the scents last longer, hence it's aftershave cologne, then I'm going to do it. So, I mean, your choice, obviously. Acronym, YMMV, your mileage may vary. And that was another thing when I posted that really good lather. I posted a pet peeves post, name your pet peeves and go. You know, so a lot of them were shave related, some of them weren't. But um the acronyms, the people hating the acronyms, that was pretty funny. But uh and then some other people, Athlete Ecliptic Bakelite with a Gillette Silver Blue on its second shave. Um some of the uh, pet peeves that people were writing were pretty funny. And when certain, what's funny is certain people were, were referencing pet peeves and they were kind of referring to a certain person or something. And then that person jumps in and doesn't really see that other people are, you know, kind of like when you like your own comments or when you post, when you post pictures of your shoes, and the rarest Chopin saved up and shaved them. Yeah, that was pretty funny. And then somebody who actually obviously doesn't know me is like, oh, let me see. You don't like when people scratch their nails on the chalkboard, but now you're scratching your nails on the chalkboard trying to get attention. And I said, obviously, this dude doesn't know me because... He didn't get my humor, and he didn't get the fact that I'm really not an attention whore, but... And then I said, oh, I'm sorry, dude. I'm an asshole. And then he said, oh, that's cool. I'm an asshole, too. But he didn't get my sarcasm. It's kind of hard for sarcasm to come across in a, in a Facebook comment. But, yeah, there's been a lot going on, you know, football season... The World Series. I feel for you, David, man. If I was a fan of a team and they kind of fell apart, I, I would find it. And I'm not busting your balls. I'm just saying, you know, at least your team got there, man. Um, But I'm happy for Houston. It was, Houston, the city, deserved it. But... You know, if I were a Dodger fan and I empathize with Dodger fans a little bit, you know, you guys, it just, it just didn't work out. 
it just didn't work out. But you guys, you guys lost to a very worthy opponent. So, stuff of that. But they were, you guys were mad, and I feel for you, man. But I can't talk too much crap because Padres got worked both times they were there. So. But, uh, yeah, just I uh, hope everyone's doing well. I want to – something I've been wanting to do for a while and not having made videos for, for a while, that's why I started to post my shaves of the day were longer. The explanations were longer. And that was another thing that Simmons wrote, that, that big Mike dude wrote. He had a pet peeve that shaves of the day that are a paragraph long or something like that. I'm like, well, you know what? I don't have time to make videos, so basically what I'm writing in my shave of the day is what I would say if I were to make a video. And is it me, or have there been just fewer videos lately? But, um, something I'd wanted to do ever for, actually for a couple years now, hold on, let me rinse. Something I've been wanting to do for a while is is matching, you know, Rico started to do it, and Peter started to do a little bit, was pairing fragrances, cologne, because I'm big into fragrances now too, is pairing colognes and soaps and aftershaves. Now granted, there are some that are easy since the, the colognes and after, or since the soaps and aftershaves are clones of colognes those pairings are easy obviously but you know mixing and matching brands you know and finding similarities between you know certain brands of soap and aftershave and then a whole different cologne whole different brand of cologne that's kind of something i want to get into but so rico started to do it a couple years ago and so did peter but then I was hoping to figure out a way to kind of introduce the two worlds to each other, at least on Facebook. And that's what um, what um, Gene Isaac did. Gene Isaac, shout out to you. I'm going to tag you. Um, I want you to see this. Um, shout out to Gene Isaac because he, he introduced a Facebook group called Wet Shaving Fragheads. And I remember Gene from even before he runs, he helps run the raffle group, the fragrance raffle group. And I remember him being the one who was really all about trying to get a hold of the old how to grow a mustache stuff. And then I got to interact more with him in the raffles and in the fragrance raffles. And then he went ahead and did the work. I mean, I'm not taking any credit away from you, Gene, mind you. But he did the work in putting together the cross group, if you want to call it that. The cross group of wet fairy fraghead. As a way to introduce those of us from one world into the other. And I think... What I kind of wanted to do as well was whenever I'd, I'd acquire a new fragrance, whether from the raffles or or from just anywhere, was to kind of start doing a few little reviews. You know, there are guys in the in the in the YouTube world who do fragrance reviews who have like there's one guy Jeremy over two hundred thousand followers, and different people do their reviews and stuff differently, just like with you know with the wet shaving stuff, but. I would want to do something simple just to kind of introduce the shavers into the fragrance world. So I might do a few of those videos too. Because I've come across just blind blind buys and in the raffle in the raffle page, I've come across things that I never would have that I never would have considered spraying on me. Only because I didn't know. You know, you go to Macy's and stuff, of course you know your 
Christian Dior's and your Chanel's and 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 all the and Armani's and stuff. But there are brands of fragrance that I had never heard of that I'm so glad I did, based on being in the um, fragrance world in the uh, on the Facebook pages. Excuse me. So, so wet shaving, wet shaving frag heads, get into it. Um, the Red Adolescence Reviews is one of the, um, is one of the fragrance review groups. Um, totally, sh totally fragrance raffles, um, is a good way to delve into, um, different fragrances and stuff. I'm actually going to finish on camera. I'm already over 15 minutes, but I just wanted to say it's great to be back. <coughs> there were so many things I want to touch on. I'm sure I rambled on a little bit. But I hope you guys stay tuned. Um, again, shout out to Gene Isaac for for um, <coughs> for combining the wet shaving and the fragrance worlds into one group. And um, hope everybody's well. Um, there will be more vids to come, good or bad, whether you're happy about that or not. I know I'm glad to be back. So I uh, missed you guys. Hope everyone's well. I'm going to finish off camera again with the <coughs> Atomic Age Bay Rum from Crown King. And um, I don't know what I'm going to pair it with fragrance-wise, but it'll be in the shave of the day picture. So everybody be well, and good to be back.